happen to be an owner of the Xiaomi Yi camera, you probably noticed that there are no English instructions in the package. So today I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use the camera. Now this video assumes that you've already inserted the battery into the compartment on the right side of the back. It also assumes that you've inserted a, a micro SD card. It goes in the slot right here. This camera supports micro SD cards up to 64 gigabyte and it recommends class 10 compliant cards for best performance. The other thing you need to do is charge up the battery and you do that by plugging in the supplied USB cord right here and then plugging in the other end into a USB charger or some other powered USB port. Now while it's charging this ring here will light up in an orangish red color and it will stay that way until the charge is complete and at that point it will go dark just like it is now and that means it's fully charged and it's ready to go. So to turn the camera on, I'm going to press the button in the front beside the lens. That button is the on and off button and it also allows you to change between video and photo modes. Startup process takes just a little bit. Once that's complete, we get a solid blue ring around the power button. Now this blue ring indicates that the battery is greater than 50% charged. If it is less than 50%, it'll be kind of a pinkish, uh, purplish color. And if it's below 15%, it will then change to an orange or red color, which means the battery is nearly depleted. Now the camera, by default, starts up in photo mode. And you can verify that by the fact that this little light here is currently off. That means it's in photo mode. And if I tap the, the button here, it will take a picture. And if you notice, it will flash red just after I press the button. That's actually the moment where it takes the snapshot. That's all you have to do to take a picture. Now if you want to take video, you tap this button on the front to change it to video mode. At that point, you notice that the light on the top is solid red, and that means it's in video mode, and it's in standby ready for you to press this button to start recording. So go ahead and press that button, and you'll notice that that light is now blinking. Also the ring on the front is blinking, and that tells us that it's currently recording video. Then to stop recording, we simply tap the button again. So that's pretty much all you need to know to take photographs and capture video footage. The only other button on the unit is this little Wi-Fi button here on the side. If you tap that, the blue light will come on. In just a few moments that light will start to flash and that indicates that the Wi-Fi is now active. There we go. Now if you have your computer you'll notice another Wi-Fi network that's visible uh, if you're in range of this and you can connect to it if you like the password is simply one two three four five six seven eight nine zero however there's not too much you can do using a computer uh, what really this is for is to connect to the mobile app and so what you really need to do is go to the app store um, or google play whichever the, the case may be uh, depending on whether you have android or an iphone and download the Xiaomi Yi camera app and that allow you to connect to this when it's in Wi-Fi mode and you can do a lot of things with that app. Uh, for one thing it gives you a viewfinder which of course this camera doesn't have um, so you can see what the camera is currently looking at. You can also change settings um, such as uh, turn on and off lens rectification, uh, change the, the video mode, frame rate, things like that. You can also specify that you'd like to start it in video mode instead of photo mode when you start it up and numerous other settings as well. So that camera app is, is very much indispensable if you're going to be using this camera. Now the last thing you need to know is how to turn the camera off and you do that by simply pressing and holding the power button in the front for about three or four seconds and it will beep and then turn off. So that's pretty much all you need to know uh, as far as operating this camera. There's obviously um, a few more details we could go into, especially with, uh, with the app, but um, that pretty much gives you everything you need to know to get started. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.